Good afternoon, this is David Wendell of Bushcraft on Fire, and we're pleased to be with you for another video. Today we're going to be doing a gear review of the Neat Freak Organizer, and uh, I, I've put my entire everyday carry in here, so I wanted to show you guys what I carry out into the bush, give you an idea, and show you how well this Neat Freak Organizer works. What I want to do first is uh, show you the basics of this thing, and let's go from the outside in. This, uh, this is an incredible, it's a thousand denier water and abrasion resistant, it's lightweight ballistic nylon, and it's protected with Teflon fabric protector. Uh, it has all the zippers that, Mac, that Maxpedition puts on their products, the heavy duty zippers, the high strength, uh, it's got UTX Doraflex nylon buttons on here, and they're really uh, soft closing. Uh, it's triple polyurethane coated for water resistance. And all the nylon webbing that you'll see in this has a high tensile strength, as well as the threads that they use. Of course, they double stitch all the stress points. They bar tack and box X stitch. Just like all the Maxpedition products, very, very high quality. Uh, there are paracord zipper pulls on here, and uh, it has a cell foam padding to give you shock protection as well. So it's a great little bag. But let me go ahead and show you inside the bag and the different things that I carry in my everyday carry that make this bag worthwhile to make. First thing you'll notice, this does not come with the Maxpedition. This is just an external pouch. There's some mollies on here, however. And uh, these mollies will give me uh, the PAL webbing. It allows me to put on pocket sheaths or different uh, bags for different carry and inside this external bag I have things that are the most important to me to get to quickly some fire starting my fire kit and my first aid kit so that's what I carry in the outside bag I carry a little bit of extra cordage in there it just gives me a place to put things that I need to get to quickly in a situation I'm going to take this off of here so I can show you the bag. You can see these PAL webbing strips. One of the neat things about this bag is that the outside of this, uh, there's a slip pocket in here. Okay, And in that slip pocket right now I have my compass. That's about all I have in there, but you can put other things in there. But if I didn't want to carry this and I wanted to be more covert, I can actually tuck this pouch inside and this looks no more invasive than say a purse. I'll just tuck that inside like that and I can still slip things down in there. It's got my carry in there if I want it that way. It also has another slip pocket on the outside. In fact, there's 18 different individual pockets on this. Uh, and so it's it's got a lot of space to carry everything that you really need. Let me show you a little bit inside of here what I've got. Now I have a, uh, my EDC is in here, my carry, this is 22. And this also has a Velcro pocket. Now this Velcro uh, divider is removable. I can take it out if I don't want it in there. And, uh, but it has Velcro on it. And what I can do is attach a holster uh, or a, a carry. There's different kind of things that will attach onto this that will allow me to carry. So I have that available as well, but I don't have it in here right now. Uh, I just slip many, many things into these pockets and spaces because they're available. I have my saw. I have a knife. This is just a Gerber profile. I have a small poncho. And again, this is my EDC. This is not a, you know, get out of Dodge bag. There's a couple of different pockets over here. And in here I carry my strike force, my sharpener. But these are specifically made that you can carry ammo in there. You can carry your magazines inside these pouches very easily. Uh, I just throw my magazine down here, my extra magazine, and that's okay. But I could put it in here if I wanted to. I just like to utilize these pockets for the Smiths and for the Strike Force. I also carry some mixed drinks with me. That just gives me a little bit of energy drink. Some duct tape. Back in the back slip here. 
I have a few bandanas. So you can see these pockets are pretty big. This main compartment is seven and a half inches by three inches by nine and a half inches. And then it also comes with this shoulder strap. Has a non-slip shoulder pad on there. Kind of nice. Again, it's got that uh, that cell phone padding, and that that protects you and helps you to you know carry it comfortably. Okay. So as I said, I can remove this center pouch if I want to. Do without it. Just have the bag a little bit bigger, and that'll work as well. It has a keeper in here that if I want to put my keys in, I can just throw my keys in here and keep them silent. On the back side of this center pouch, which I leave attached, I put my notebook. There's a couple of smaller pouches on here for pens. I can just keep my pen right in there with it. That'll work just fine. Pencils, all sorts of little kits. On the back side, I have a few rolls of duct tape of a 550 cord, a couple of 20s, and a 50. I've got a flashlight in here. And that's really pretty much all that I need to carry out into the bush. I have a little shovel in case I need to dig for any reason whatsoever. Just a little folding shovel. This thing weighs virtually nothing. This entire pack totally packed out, including my carabiner, which I've put on the outside on the D-ring. Uh, the whole thing only weighs about five pounds. So it's very, very uh, lightweight. In here I have my last ditch kit. And in my last ditch kit, uh, I'm not going to take that apart today, but I've got water bags, I've got some aluminum foil, fish hooks, some line, I've got a razor blade, I've got uh, some milk bags to carry water in. So there's all different things inside there. Some more duct tape, a little adhesive tape and things. So let me show you again some of these pockets inside of this main compartment. One, two, three, four, and that's on this side. Five, six, seven on the center divider. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 pockets on the inside. Folks, that'll keep most any gear that you have well organized. Most of you know that I'm really into modular. This is a great modular kit. And there's just something about being organized that's very important out in the bush. You know where your equipment is. You don't lose your gear. You have everything in its place and a place for everything. And that's critical. And this neat freak allows you to be able to do that. So we had, uh, what did we say, 15 inside, 16, 17, 18 pockets, 19. So we've got a good amount. Uh, I'm sorry, I guess I lost count there somewhere because there's 18 pockets. But that's all right. We got to 19. Maybe I put one in there Max Expedition didn't know about. High quality. I've been carrying this as my EDC for about three months now, and I really like it. One of the other options, I've got a couple blanket pins on the back here. That's if I carry my uh, carry my, my, my uh, blanket with me, my wool blanket. But you'll notice back here, this has a closure. And this closure will allow you to go ahead and uh, this is velcro flaps which allow you to put this on a backpack onto a leg rig a tactical vest uh, you can hook it onto your belt I mean there's all sorts of different things that you can do with this if you don't want to carry it as a bag but I want to show you now that it's unloaded let me take this carabiner clip off of here show you how unobtrusive this is. If you live in the city or if you just want to stay covert as I said before, many times I've been walking around and this is just like a book bag. There's nothing bigger about it than any kind of a book bag but I can put an incredible amount of gear into here and carry it with me out anywhere that I am. So I think it's a really good bag. I think Maxpedition has done a great job with this. And thank you, Tim, for sending these out to me so that I could see them and use them. They're, they're a great part of my everyday kit, and Tam has one as well. So this is David Wendell with Bushcraft on Fire. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you're looking for a smallish kit, and again, this does not hold 
you know, 2,000 or 3,000 cubic inches of gear. This carries enough gear to get you through what you're going through in a day. You guys can probably think of a lot of things to put in these pockets that I haven't mentioned. There's slip covers in there that I could put uh, maps in, that I could put all sorts of flatter things. You can't put a lot of bulky items in here, but it's a good kit and I think it's well worth the time to look at. This is David Wendell with Bushcraft on Fire, hoping you've had a great day. Enjoy this video. Join us again soon for another one. We appreciate your viewership.